starting your puppy off right. People often ask, what age should you start puppy training? The answer is immediately. As soon as you get that puppy, you need to be training it. Here are some quick tips on the steps to training and maintaining an obedient and balanced dog right from the start. New puppy owners often make the mistake of endlessly worrying about finding the right accessories, puppy treats, or bedding. They spend little or no time thinking about how or what they will teach their new puppy. Yes, a puppy needs nutritious food and a safe, warm place to live, but another equally powerful and important biological necessity is the need for a strong pack leader. Be the pack leader. Puppies are naturally hardwired to follow a pack leader. A pack leader is, by definition, strong, stable, and consistent. Traits many new puppy owners forget. Many of our clients are strong leaders in their jobs, but when they come home, they turn to mush with their dogs. Then they come to us puzzled as to why their dog won't behave. Puppies sense our confidence levels and will take control if they perceive us as weak. When this happens, bad behaviors such as excessive barking, chewing, leash pulling, or anxiety will develop. The most important thing you can do is become your puppy's pack leader. This role doesn't begin when your dog is six months old or when he's bad. It should be maintained throughout the entire dog training experience. For your new puppy to grow into a healthy, balanced dog, you must demonstrate leadership from day one. Next, you're going to want to find a really, really good veterinarian and visit them regularly. Puppies are naturally hardwired to want a good veterinarian to take care of them. One of the cornerstones of good health for your puppy is regular veterinary care. It is crucial that your puppy maintains a nutritional diet and exercise routine to stay healthy and balanced. Plus, your vet can advise on heartworm, flea and tick preventative care, and all kinds of good stuff like that. While a lot goes into keeping your puppy in good health, it all begins with this first visit to the vet. So don't delay, pick up the phone and find a great vet and take your dog there. Now, now we, we come, come to, to housebreaking. housebreaking. All dogs become conditioned never to eliminate inside of their dens. From two to four months of age, most pups pick up on the concept of housebreaking quite easily since it is part of their natural programming. Don't pee where you eat, am I right? In the early days of housebreaking, you want to make sure that your puppy has a place to relieve him or herself while he or she feels safe. A place that seems and smells familiar. First thing every morning, bring your puppy outside to the same general area. It is important to remain consistent throughout this process so your puppy can learn the habit. Once your new puppy has successfully gone outside to do their business, it is important to reward the good behavior. It doesn't have to be a big loud celebration, but a simple quiet approval or a treat can get the message across of a job well done. And be sure not to punish your puppy for an accident or do anything to create any sort of negative association with her body functions. Stay calm and assertive and quietly remove the puppy to the place where you do want him to go. Dog walking. This one is so important we have our own little training video just on it. But just for now, let's just say, please find some safe ways to exercise your puppy too. As your puppy's pack leader, you must help to expend their energy in a productive way. For all dogs, this means a daily walk. Walking in front of your new puppy allows you to be seen as the pack leader. Conversely, if your dog controls you on the walk, he's the pack leader. You should be the first one out the door and the first one in. Your puppy should be beside or behind you during the walk. Also talk to your veterinarian about the risk of long-term bone development problems, parovovirus, and other health issues before implementing an exercise routine. These things take time to develop, and you need to do them steadily throughout the month. 
month and month after month and month until your dog finally gets it. If you need help with this, please see our website.